Hello and welcome to the shop. Tonight I want to start building a colored pencil pen blank. Now I picked up a set of 72 colored pencils. They are hexagonal. I purchased this off of eBay. I believe it was just under $16 including shipping. I also recently picked up uh, two four ounce bottles of epoxy. Well, actually one bottle of epoxy and one bottle of hardener. And we're gonna use that to glue these pencils together. So let's get started building this blank. I raided my scrap bin and here's what I came up with. A nice piece of half inch MDF and a couple of cutoffs from my wine glass holders. I plan to hot glue one of the cutoffs to the MDF and then I've got a standard length pen blank. I wanna use that to help me measure out roughly a 45 degree angle. I'll also lay the pencils side by side in here and I may have to adjust in or out a tiny bit so that I get a nice tight fit with my first row of pencils. Once I do, I'll hot glue the second scrap to the MDF and then I can just take my pencils and lay them side by side and glue them together to make the first layer of pencils. We're gonna make the pencils three layers thick, but that's gonna be a really good start. Let's go ahead and get this first piece of scrap hot glued to the board. I put the scrap down at a bit of an angle and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. I took the scrap and I angled it like this and laid it on the edge and then I rolled it toward the outside edge of the blank and the idea was there any squeeze out from the glue and you'll see that there was some squeeze out would squish out the outside of the blank and not the inside which could throw me off on, on uh, getting my pencils right up next to it. We'll give that a second or two to dry. I'm going to use my square and lay it against the piece of scrap and I'm just going to draw myself a line. This will give me a 45 degree angle. That'll allow me to start laying the pencils side by side and using this blank to make sure that it's long enough or wide enough for me to get full size blanks out of it. Now what I want to do is get several pencils and lay them in there so I can make make everything fit properly inside this form. I'm just going to pull the pencils out of the box in the order that they came in because I think it's kind of neat the way the colors uh, go from light to dark. Not quite there yet. A couple of more pencils. I can still kind of see the line. Looks like about two more pencils. You can kind of see my line right there. That ought to be plenty for me to get several blanks. If I start here, that's one, two, three, at least three blanks, possibly four. And uh, then I'll be able to take the end pieces and maybe glue them together uh, to get another blank. Go ahead now. And what I want to do is snug everything up. I think that's going to be perfect. Now I want to get this scrap wood hot glued to the backer board. Once again, I'm going to bring it in at an angle. Whoops. Bring it in at an angle. We're going to snug everything up. Make sure they're flat. And I'm going to roll it and stick it to the board. Got a nice fit there. That's going to be great. We're going to let this cool for just a minute. I've removed my pencils from the form and you can see my 45 degree line. If I lay my blank on that line, you can see that it fits perfectly between the two end pieces. What I want to do now is get some wax paper attached uh, to this so that any epoxy will be less likely to stick to the form. I don't care if it sticks to the wax paper, we can turn that off, but I like to be able to reuse this form to possibly make a second blank. I think I've got enough pencils here to be able to do that. This is in no way pretty, but it's going to be very functional. And if we get epoxy on the wax paper or the tape, it's not going to be an issue. Let's go ahead and lay our pencils back out just to make sure that everything fits properly and we can then lift them up one by one and glue them into place. All right, 
looks really nice. Try to get all the backs of the pencils level here, and I really don't have to worry about it right now. There's no epoxy on there, but we want to make sure that everything is is uh, level across the back. That way, um, we'll get the most out of our blank. I fiddled around with the form a little bit, and I've, I've got everything fitting really nicely. Uh, I think I do need to make one adjustment. I need a block across the back here so that I can push the pencils back against it and keep this back edge perfectly level. And the reason why is I'll get more out of my blank if the pencils are level than if they're you know off like this. So I'm gonna work on that. We'll get a block put in here. We'll get it covered in wax paper and then we'll come back and start our glue up. I'm ready to start my glue up. I just spread a little bit of painter's tape on the back of this board to give me a place to mix. That's probably not gonna be enough. <laughs> Put a little more on there. There we go. And then we'll mix about the same amount. Just going to start picking the pencils up. And I'm only going to put the, the epoxy on one side of the pencil. I may not have mixed up enough epoxy here, so we're going to get a little bit more. And the last pencil should just slide right in there. I'm going to try to wipe some of the excess epoxy off the top of the pencils because I don't want to have a lot of it gooping up and, and sopping through because it'll make it more difficult for me to put the second layer on. So I'm just gonna kinda clean that up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then I've got some small pieces of, of uh, veneer that I'm just gonna use as shims to sort of force the pencils a little closer together. I think everything is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this to dry. It's a five minute epoxy, so I'll give it 10, 15 minutes. I'll come back, that's that's the set time. After, I think it's, I'll read the instructions, I believe it's 20 minutes, it's fully cured, and I'll come back at that time and we'll put a second layer of pencils on top of these. This epoxy that I'm using says that it sets in five minutes and it's a usable strength in 20 minutes, and it's been about 25 since I did my first coat. Uh, and it fully dries in 24 hours. So I think it's probably dry enough for me to go ahead and put a second layer of colored pencils in this blank. I'm gonna move this around a little bit. It's kind of hard to mix because my camera tripod is right at the base of this, uh, this little block that I'm using uh, as a form. And it's a little bit difficult. I didn't want to be bumping the camera. Okay, we'll just start bringing out our pencils in order once again, and I'll go ahead and slap a little bit of epoxy on them. And really, I need to put epoxy on, let's see, I want to put it on the, on the, put it on the side and push this down because I want these pencils to interlock, and then I'll come back and we'll figure this out here in a second. Let's put it, let's just go ahead and put the epoxy on like this because I need the pencils to have epoxy on the side as well as the bottom so that they can, there we go, they can fit together 
the geometric shape of a hexagon can squeeze together or can fit together and give me a nice, nice blank. This one may get a little messy, but we can wipe it off in the end. It's not going to be a huge issue. It's actually a little easier doing it this way, I think, than it was trying to put it on each pen or pencil. Of course, I'm using a little bit more epoxy for this round, but that's all right. We'll mix up more if we need it. Let's get this shim out of the way. Make sure everything's pushed back against the, the block of wood on the back of the blank, that or the back of the form. That way, everything's nice and even. I know this would be a lot easier to do uh, without the camera in the way, but it's a necessary evil. Get a little more epoxy here. Got some darker colors going in, that's kind of cool. I could have stayed with just the brighter colors, but I just sort of wanted to use the colors uh, as they came out of the box. They kind of graduate from light to dark and, and then back to some more colorful colorful uh, pencils. So I just want to kind of use them all. Thought it'd be kind of neat to set them in there the way they came out. Looks like I'm at the point where I'm going to have to mix up just a little bit more epoxy. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, let's get a little more here. There we go. Pull these shims out because I really don't want to glue them to the pencils. I don't really guess it would matter, but uh, no sense making it any more complicated than we have to. It's like about two more pencils ought to have it. I certainly am making a mess, but you know what? That's all right. A little mess never hurt anybody, did it? Okay, last pencil. Well, you know what? That's not going to go in there. Let me get a paper towel. We'll wipe this one off and we'll clean up. Wipe some of the excess squeeze out off. I'll never get it perfect, but I'll get enough of it off where I can get one more layer on here. Push everything back toward the back of the form. All right. I like it. Let this one dry for about 20 minutes and we'll put the final layer on. I'm ready for the third round of glue ups. Get plenty of epoxy here. We'll just start spreading it on the blanks again, just like we did last time. Make sure we get it between each of the blanks. I got quite a bit of epoxy on here, so I'm just gonna go right on down the line and we'll do a couple of them. This blank's going to consist of a lot of the darker colors from the box. That's all right, we'll use them up and uh, I'll have some of the lighter ones left over. Uh, I think I counted that this will use 44 pencils uh, out of 72. So I'll have a few left and what I can do is make another blank that is maybe more of a straight line blank and uh, 
or, or basically just uh, we can glue them up and cut it from side to side maybe and do a perpendicular blank. That might be kind of neat. So I'm just going to get a little, little bit of epoxy on here. There we go. We'll just kind of see how it goes and play it by ear. You want to rotate your pencils and make sure uh, these hexagonal pencils will actually fit into one another. So you just want to make sure you rotate them so that everything is fitted. Using a little bit more epoxy this round than I did the last couple of rounds. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that because what will happen is uh, it'll run down between the blanks and it should kind of help to fill if there are any gaps. But truthfully, these pencils fit together relatively tightly. I don't really anticipate there being uh, many, if any, gaps. Get some of this wax paper out of the way here. There's a lot of extra epoxy here, so I'm going to try to get some of it down in here. I think I'll, I may end up with a pencil on the end here. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's lay some of these in there. It does go quicker the with the upper layers because, you know, you can just actually smear the epoxy right on top of the pencils and then apply them versus having to put epoxy on each individual pencil. But I don't really have a backer here, so I've got to be really careful with how I place my pencils so that they stay uh, aligned. My blank looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any epoxy that is squeezed out on top of the blank because this is the outside and that will turn off. It's not going to affect the alignment of the pencils, so we're not going to worry about it. At this point, I'm going to walk away and leave this set overnight and we'll come back 24 hours from now and remove this blank from the form and start thinking about how we want to cut it to make our individual blanks. My blank has had a full 24 hours to dry and I'm ready to remove it from the form. Looks like it's definitely got the wax paper glued to it. We can pull a lot of that off. Oh, it's coming off pretty good. Not a problem. The rest of that will turn off. No issue. And there we have a colored pencil blank. Next up, we need to get this cut into individual blanks so that they can be used. I drew a 45 degree line on my blank and then I went ahead and laid a normal size blank on here and was able to get four separate blanks full size blanks out of this glue up. Now what I want to do is go ahead and cut them and separate them from the blank. I ended up losing the video where I cut these blanks out on the bandsaw, but I think you kind of got the gist of it. I had my diagonal lines drawn and I just basically ran this through the blade. I was able to get four full size blanks. I've got two nice cutoffs that I can get at least one, maybe two single blanks out of these. So I'm very happy with, with how this turned out. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I could not be happier with how these blanks turned out. The only thing left to do is to square the end of the blank, but you know, I'm gonna leave that until I get ready to turn this into a pin and I can square it whenever I split the blank into two separate halves. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am super psyched about these blanks. I look forward to turning them into pins very soon. Uh, I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon.